need. This space is a starvate. I mean, this map is a starvation map. It is designed for starvation play. You have three easy bases and no more. And three easy bases means one of you is starved at the 15 minute mark. 15 minutes is when you first start to mine out your first base with mules, and you, that means the whole game is just based around this starvation. So you know you don't ever need to attack on this map. Don't ever attack them. Just defend. Defend and defend and defend, and then try to secure uh, enough map control to expand. And if you fail, then you lose. And if they fail to secure an expansion, they lose. And that's what it's all about, is securing this fourth. whole map is about securing the fourth. So, uh, I, I don't particularly like trying to sneak forth the planetary fortress turret. I mean, you kind of have to in this situation where, where neither side has gained a, a, a real ginormous ground advantage. But at this point, you guys do have a pretty significant ground advantage. Um, because, uh, like I said, it comes down to starvation. Even though you, neither side was playing towards starvation, you guys accidentally starved them. Um... So this elevator attack, as I've said a bunch of times, I like elevator attacks. I dislike how you took the bottom half of the elevator and attacked in here through their siege tanks. That was really stupid. When you do an elevator attack, you want the guys on the ground to just hold position, and the guys up top to harass and then pull back and harass and pull back. And elevator attacks don't work very well against Terran because of siege tanks. Um, the idea is that you, against Protoss and Zerg, uh, they have low range units, so they have to kind of come in range of your of your low ground units in order to hit your high ground units, and that's not true of Terran. Terran can just kind of fend you off and then put siege tanks up here and force you to retreat. Uh, but in in the caliber of opponent you're facing, I would say it's perfectly fine <laughs> uh, to do elevator attacks. I doubt that they're they're thinking patiently enough to to come and and use siege tanks to to slowly drive you back. So that was a poorly executed, but a good concept. Like, that's what you wanted to do, it's just not how you wanted to do it. Look at this, uh, all this turrets. He doesn't realize, you're about to be out of money. Spending money defending a base that is now completely useless is so ridiculous. Oh, Let's look more at what you're doing than what your opponents are doing, because I don't, I don't think you sent me this game to find out what your opponents could have done better, right? You guys were much smarter. You didn't spend any money on, on, on useless turrets. You spent money on turrets that actually protect workers that are actually mining, and that's much, much cooler. Uh, at this point, even though the game is continuing to drag on, I kind of feel like it'd be really hard for you guys to lose it at this point. You just you have an army they don't. You have an income they don't. There's, there's not a lot, of, a lot they can do to come back. Squish, 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 squish. So what this came down to is starvation. Even though you guys didn't didn't play with starvation in mind, that's what the game always comes down to on this map. And now that hopefully you know that, you can keep that in mind with your play. And instead of just being surprised that the game came down to starvation, plan on it. Plan on starving them. Never attack this planetary fortress. There are no minerals here. Killing it does not earn you anything. You are not gaining ground by killing it. Oh, so silly.